Okay, I'm just going to try to do this quick walk around for you. Uh, in front of the trailer up here, uh, you can see I've got it hooked up to the truck right now. Uh, this is the uh, tongue jack here. Got a little indicator light on it for you, and then you can hear the motor running. That moves pretty slow, but moves the foot of the jack. you can tell by that anyway breakaway box on it um, this is the pretty much the worst spot on the trailer it's like some kind of little rock hit it um, this is the side of the trailer my son's in it right now he's gonna open the door so that's the side door Ooh. I don't know how much you'll be able to see of the condition of the tires but they are, hopefully you can see the tread there a little bit. I'd say probably about 60%. Um, I'll show you a spot inside in a minute. The trailer was hit right here at one point in time in its life. Um, we had to replace a couple of these body panels and the rear axle, um, but it's all been done now and is back to uh, factory good. Um, so obviously got the fold down ramp in the back see the marking lights on at work um, hey can you go get in the truck hit the brake lights and then hit the blinker lights and stuff get my son to go get in the truck and do a little light display for you I've got a couple of woodworking tools inside the trailer right now uh, nothing major So there's brake lights for you, left blinker, right blinker, and so that shows you that. Hopefully, obviously I can't display the brakes for you. Um, this side of the trailer, the previous owner had put these stickers on it. Um, I had taken them off the other side. I had intended on taking them off of this side, but I figured I'd wait and let the new owner decide. I can take them off for you if you'd like. Uh, so the trailer, it has obviously 12 volt power from the truck through a seven way connector, just like normal. The, uh, the 110 power comes in right here. You can see I've got it plugged in going up to my house right now. Uh, it goes up underneath the trailer and uh, I'll show you where that comes in in just a second and walk back around to the back for you. Uh, just so you know, right here from floor to ceiling, you have right at 81 inches of clearance. Um, in between the wheel wells, so from there to there, you've got 83 inches of clearance. And then from wall to wall, um, you've got right at about 91, 92 inches of clearance. As you can see, there's, uh, there's multiple D-rings here in the floor. Uh, the floor of the trailer itself has got three quarter inch plywood from the factory. Let's see if you can get a shot here of this. So it's got three quarter inch plywood from the factory and then it's got this nice tongue and groove that uh, was put in after the fact that depending upon your usage for it, obviously could be sanded and stained. I uh, got the vent hole there coming from the front. This is the inside of the trailer where it was hit um, while we did replace the outside board uh, or panels and stuff. I didn't bother replacing the inside. Um, it's got these uh, LED panel lights on it. Uh, they're super slim. They don't take up, I'm trying to show you the thickness. You can see here how far they come down off the ceiling, just like not even a half of an inch. Um, so, uh, walking towards the front of the trailer. Um, right now, from this corner right here, from this from this wall, which is the furthest point of the bookshelf, to the rear door, you've got a little more than 19 feet, I believe. And then, of course, you have 
the width of the bookshelf uh, before you get to the front cabinetry. Um, all the cabinets, all of these uh, shelves are adjustable uh, up and down and the way they were put in here you can see they're behind the uh, edge so as you're going down the road and stuff they won't come out. Uh, the truck does not have plumbing, or I'm sorry, the trailer does not have plumbing in it right now. One of the things that I had planned on doing to it. Um, my son did turn on the air conditioner. I'll be quiet so you can hear it. Obviously, there's no way you can feel it, but I'll let you look at the controls. It does have heat, fan, and AC. Everything works great on it, and it will absolutely make this trailer freezing cold. Um, back up here to the front, you've got this little door. Um, this is where the V nose of the trailer is. You can see that you got a little shelf back behind here that you can put some stuff in. Um, you've got an electrical outlet right here by the shelf. Uh, your light switch is right next to the door. We have another light switch. I'm sorry, not a light switch. We have another uh, electrical outlet uh, over here on the wall. So I'm gonna try to step over all this stuff. Another electrical outlet right there on the wall. And then you've got one final electrical outlet down here towards the tailgate. Right down here at the bottom right next to the cargo door. So those are the areas that are electrified right now. Obviously uh, the lights up on top. The power is does not have a traditional breaker box at the moment. That 110 power cord I was showing you, it comes in underneath the trailer. Get some of this stuff out of the way. It comes in right here up into that junction box and then the junction box goes, it spreads out into two pieces and goes up into the one goes into the walls to control the outlet. One goes into the ceiling to control the uh, AC and the lights. So, let's just see here under the cabinets. Middle drawer um, is obviously, this is a sink base technically, so it doesn't open. Uh, the side drawers do. Some stuff in there right now. And they do kind of like clip into place so they don't come open while you're going down the road. Um, if you needed more room than that 19 feet that I was mentioning, this one side bookshelf could uh, be easily taken out and uh, you could pick yourself up, uh, looks like probably about four more feet, four and a half more feet of actual space. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you what you want. Um, going out through the side door here right now. I'm gonna step back from the trailer just so you can kind of see. Of course the door won't stay open. I wanted you to kind of just see sort of how bright the lights are. I mean, they are, especially since it's getting dark out here now, you can really see there is a lot of light inside that trailer. It really uh, lights things up. So, um, anyway, I hope that gives you everything that you need. If you have any more specific questions or uh, anything you want me to uh, take a short video of or very specific pictures of, I can. Um, I tried to get a couple of pictures in the listing of underneath the trailer. They're really, uh, there's no rust to speak of, a little bit of surface rust. Um, and of course, all the all the cross members are straight and true and everything is good. So uh, we'll lift this rear cargo. I'm lifting this up right now, literally with like two fingers. And then at some point it catches and kind of closes itself. Um, got your license plate light down there. And then of course, just like normal, kind of have the bar locks over here. So, Close that, pull that down and lock it. Same thing on the other side. Pull that down, lock it there. And uh, that's about it. Hope that that uh, gives you what you need. 
like I said, let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see.